Now we'll come to the little bit extra. Just we'll try to understand coefficient of linear equation. Coefficient of linear equation in a system of linear equation, or you can say group of linear equations. One thing is very sure we know since beginning, since childhood, if number of variable is equal to the number of equation, then it will be solvable in unique way. Okay. If I am telling a equal to four, then we know a is exactly equal to four. Then you will tell what is fun in this. Fun is here. Number of variable is one. That is a, and equation is also one. Then it will be you will get the unique solution a equal to four. The same thing we can write three a equal to three a equal to fifteen. Then also it will be solvable a equal to five. Just very simplest. Now just suppose if you got a plus b equal to six and two a plus three b equal to nine. Now based on these two, are you you will able to get the unique solution? Yes, because two variable a and b, two equation is given. Two equation where no common factor. Like sometimes it will be given in like equivalent ratio will be there. Like same factor multiplication you multiplied in any of the ratio in numerator and denominator, it will give you equivalent ratio. Same way, equivalent equation also will be there. Equivalent linear equation. Like just simple way you can say a plus b equal to three, and another we have written two a plus two b equal to six. Both looks two different equation, but finally it is same because two here common factor it will. It will cancel out. Then two equations should be defined where no common factor should be there. Two independent linear equation is there between a and b, and only two variable a and b have and two equation. Then we can say we will get the unique solution. This we know. I just I given the little uh, revision. Now case will interesting if number of equation is less than number of variable. If number of equation is more than number of variable, then then no need to discuss. Automatically, you will get the solution. Like here, if it is given a plus b equal to six, two a plus three b. Another equation we have given a plus three b equal to ten. No problem. You give four, five equation, ten equation, we will able to solve because two variable only. But minimum criteria to solve to get the two variable in unique way, two equation should be there. Then more is there than no issue. That case is you can say it is no need to discuss. But if number equation number of equation is less than number of variable, then how we will able to solve the equation? Can we get any unique solution? No, we will not get the unique solution. How we will get? What we will get? We will able to get the idea about the coefficient of variable in form of ratio. Means ratio between among the variables can be found. Then exact number we will not able to find. We will get the relative number means in ratio format. Based on the ratio format, whatever best possible data or best possible number as per the as per the condition of question, we will able to decide. Then just we look one simple example. We will able to understand this one. Four x plus three y equal to zero. Equation one variable two. Can we able to solve it? No. But what we can do? Four x equal to minus three y. X ratio y equal to minus three. Ratio four or three ratio minus four. No unique solution, but we are getting the idea. It will be three ratio four. If x is nine, y will be twelve. If x is eighteen, y will be twenty-four. That idea we got. Means ratio we got here infinite number of solution maybe. And in some times in algebra, same thing we are reading. It is in a Cramer's rule: trivial solution, non-trivial solutions. Correct. Then I am not entering the algebra again. Algebra it is one of the interesting chapter like linear system of linear equation. I will discuss in detail. Right now we are our focus is to understand the ratio and part of the ratio and application of ratio in the system of linear equation. Then here 